Today, I want to start a series of three or maybe four messages about the topic. How does the news work behind the scenes? Yes, how does the news work? If you understand what you will learn today and in the upcoming messages, you will never be manipulated or deceived again. You will have a superpower, per se. You will be above the majority, maybe 99% of the population. It is a great promise, but you will understand if you follow this topic here today and on the upcoming days. How does the news work? When we speak about news, we grew up and live in a society, the values, the news. When I speak about news, I'm talking about those information that comes to us through various means of communication, whether television, radio, website, and today through social media too, and other channels too, like blogs, and what is not lacking is people giving news. So if you like to listen, to hear, to watch the news, and you have the idea, I need to keep myself informed, we can talk about this on another day. But if usually you listen to the news, and who doesn't? Because it comes to us even when we don't look for them. But you must know a few things on how it works behind the scenes. You must know a few things about it. That you may absorb things in a better way. Okay? Let's understand a few main points. First question you need to ask yourself when the news comes to you is who is reporting? Who? Who is reporting the news? What is the source of the news and the vehicle? Because at times the vehicle is not the source. It's just repeating the source. What exists the most in the means of communication today are lazy journalists, lazy editors, who take the news from certain sources and they quickly replicate it on their website without verification because they only look for the clicks, the audience. So those days when journalists went after the facts and tried to know if that really had happened, those days are over. Today what works is to replicate it. If they have to say sorry later, they add a reference at the bottom of the text, we were wrong. Anyway, who is reporting? This is the first question you must ask yourself. People usually think that news is news. It doesn't matter where it comes from. But not all news is born the same. And that is true. Not every news is born the same. Because every human being is biased. Let me give you an example. Say you are a mother or father and you have a teenage daughter. And she comes to you and tells you, Mom, Dad, I'm pregnant. What do you mean, my daughter? Are you pregnant? And she tells you that one day that she skipped the class and she went out with a boy from the school and in a dark alley they did what they shouldn't have done. And now she's pregnant. Now I ask you, parent, what do you do with this news? Will you tell all your neighbors? Will you tell it to everybody? I know that bad news runs fast, even if you don't tell others. But the father and mother won't go out there saying what happened to the daughter. Why? Because of the shame. Am I right? 
So all of us are biased. All of us, we have a tendency. There's an information in front of us, then we think, will this information be good for me, will help me? When I say good, it's because you will help me. At times it's bad, but you will help me. If you will help me, then I will pass it on. If you won't help me, I will keep it with me. That's how it works. So this principle is applied in everything that you listen. And they call it news. Because who is reporting that news? Regardless of who is in the government, for example, whether the previous one, the current one, or the next one. Understand that there are means of communication that are in the governor's pocket and others who are boycotted by the government. You know that, right? There are some who are in the government's pocket, others who are boycotted by the government. So when means of communication are talking good about the government, are they saying that because is the government good? Or the money from the government is doing good for that vehicle. Or the opposite. They are speaking ill because they are connected with the opposition or because the government is really doing something bad. So who is speaking? Who is reporting the news? So who is telling that information. You must ask yourself who is reporting the news. Does the news have the aim to inform the public or to hit an enemy? So people usually listen to the information and they think that that is news. I wouldn't say sometimes. I would say 99% of the times that journalist is not reporting what benefits the population. There are certain things that really benefit the population, but that is not reported. But what is reported is what benefit the boss or prejudices are vomited. Let me talk about my class now. I'm directly affected by it. Have you noticed how some means of communications have the pleasure to use the word pastor with a negative meaning or to say the religion of the person who did something wrong? They say their religion if they're evangelical because usually you don't hear about the Catholic father or spiritualists, you see no religion being mentioned, but if it is a pastor, if it is evangelical, you see that is highlighting that. Have you noticed that? Why? Why to speak about the religion which has nothing to do with what the person has done? Because no news worry about the religion of others who follow all the religions. Why? But this exists. We, from the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, we are basically every day on the news. We have journalists who live to speak about the Universal Church because their vehicles have the interest to vilify, to speak bad, or that there may be some bad thoughts some fake news in the mind of the population about us. So this happens so much out there. But usually, people don't ask who is reporting the news. Because where the news comes from speaks a lot about the news. Because there are many ways to share the news, to say the same thing. Am I right? The same news can be given in a different way by different people. Let's go back to the topic of the daughter who got pregnant. Let's go back to this topic. Your daughter got pregnant with a boy in school. How does the father or mother who share the news about this fact? The parents could say, when a family member asks, is it true that so-and-so got pregnant? And the parents would say, 
Unfortunately, my daughter went out to have fun and a rascal took advantage of her. Then the parents blame the rascal who took advantage of the daughter. Now, an enemy of their daughter at school, where it happened, will spread the news in another way. She seduced my boyfriend and he fell for her. She got pregnant and now he will have to pay for the child. It all depends on who is giving the news. A tale never loses in the telling. Keep this, take notes of this. A tale never loses in the telling. There's a passage in the Bible that says the exact same thing. Jesus was called before Pilate. Then Pilate questioned him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? Because Pilate had heard the news that Jesus was walking around titling himself the king of the Jews. In other words, leading a rebellion against Rome. Then he asked, Are you the king of the Jews? Then Jesus' answer was wonderful, was right in the bullseye. Jesus answered Pilate like this, Are you speaking for yourself about this, or did others tell you this concerning me? In other words, are you talking about what you think, or are you talking about what others have told you about me? Look at the hint. How many go out there just repeating their opinions? I think like this, I think like that, because of this and that. And little they know that they are only repeating what others have said and not what they think. So I repeat myself. A tale never loses in the telling. So always ask yourself, who is reporting the news? Where does this news come from? Question, where is it coming from? Who is reporting it? And please, don't be a fool. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.